Hi everyone, um, my name is Ivy and today um, I'm going to show you guys a few things that you could um, set up for your yoga practice, especially if you're just starting out. Um, I think that there's a lot of sort of quite challenging um, ways to, you know, enjoy a class um, for most people who've never done yoga before. So today I'm just going to highlight a few things, props and stuff that you might need, as well as just show you some simple movements to get you started. Um, I'm a yoga teacher as well as a owner of um, a studio in Sandringham called Liquid Room. So today we're just, um, you know, uh, together with Federation Square, we're providing you this opportunity to enjoy a class in the comfort of your own home. So let me just show you some simple props that's not going to break your bank if you decide to get one. And I often think that it's really good idea to just sort of get um, a few things around your house to make yourself comfortable when you're practice. So what I have here is a block. Um, you know, there's many different type of block. I particularly like cork blocks because it's natural as well as it's also antibacterial. So if you sweat in it, that's all okay. Um, and it's firm. So it actually helps you support very well when you're in a pose and you need it to hold your balance. So having a strong, firm block will really help you. And secondly, I really like straps. So, you know, you see all these beautiful um, poses where people are leaning into their leg, picking up their feet and all that kind of stuff. So straps is a really good way to help you into that, as well as in certain um, stretches that you get into in the pose. Having a strap helps you to stay in the pose without um, you know, straining your muscles and your joints as well, and also help you work into it a little bit deeper. So maybe throughout this practice or subsequent other practices, I may sometimes use a strap or block and, you know, I can actually cue you guys to use it when it's convenient for you. So right now I'm just going to step these to the side. And we always begin our practice with an intention. I think it's really important that we set focus in our practice with, re with regards to yoga and any kind of movement. Um, the idea is bring our mind and our body together. It's to bring the present of our thoughts, not being wandering anywhere else, except to use our body as a grounding, as an anchoring for us to stay in our practice. So the whole body-mind connection is the very essence of us trying to maintain that um, mindfulness. Okay, then yoga is what we're here to encourage, to encourage our mind-body connection so that we can actually, you know, rest really well at the end of the day and not allowing our thoughts just to wander, just to, you know, go into the future or moving into our past. So our body is a really beautiful way to anchor our mind into the present. So to start with, I'm going to show you some gentle movement. Sitting is probably one of those things that in yoga that happens a lot. So for some of you, you're going to find that when you're sitting, you're not often, you know, able to pull yourself up in a really upright position such that your hips are relaxed and your thighs are relaxed. So what I would recommend, that's when a block is really handy. You grab a block, you place it underneath your buttocks, and then you sit. And when you give your hips um, a little bit more space, then you can actually slip, sit a little taller without actually doing this, all right? And this is all the habits that we um, start to develop when we're sitting on the couch a lot. So I think having a block really helps us to sit up a bit taller. And we're going to close our eyes. I'm going to center our mind and bring it um, to centering to our body. So to begin with, I want us to take a few breaths. So closing down your eyes and just letting your fingertips relax and your shoulders relax and start to focus on pulling up through your rib cage as you lift the crown of your head, which is the top of your head, towards the ceiling and allowing your chest to lift slightly forward and without puffing your ribs in front of you or towards the front, you start to draw your ribs in and lift them up towards your chest. Now relax through your shoulders and now focus on relax through your thighs and your hips. So we're feeling that internal strength by letting go of our external body, our external layer, which we often reflect ourselves through. We, our perspective come from external sources. 
But now we're going to bring ourselves inward. Now closing down into your eyes. And start to notice your breath. Notice how your breath entering through your nose. Notice how your breath is leaving your nose. Keeping your lips soft. And relaxing your tongue from the top of your mouth. Relaxing the areas between your eyes. Just allow your belly to be drawn slightly in towards your lower back. And start to sit a little bit taller as you inhale. And then maintaining that length through your spine as you relax and exhale your shoulders away from your ears. Continue for a few more breaths. Just letting that softness in your external body to relax into the space. And now developing that inner strength as you draw your breath in, continue to lengthen your body up towards the sky. Breathing in and out. And if thoughts start to enter your mind, that's okay. Know that our mind is designed to think. Thoughts are meant to come in and out of our mind. But where your practice begins, where it becomes challenging, is not allowing those thoughts to take over. And finding yourself bringing your mind to focus on your breath again every time you notice the distraction from your thoughts. Just breathing softly in and out. And if you'd like to join me, I like to always open my practice with a vibrant round of chant of OM. And OM is a powerful sound that you breathe in to prepare and as you exhale, you will be chanting OM. So in your comfort of your own home, you're no longer in an environment where it is full of people. And this is a time where you let your courage just be. And just let yourself chant with me in your own space. Let's bring your palms to touch. Allow your fingertips to come together, thumbs touching the center of your heart. Let's take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and sigh out. Let's inhale to prepare for OM. this beautiful chant to move through your body and beginning our practice with a clean slate start to blink your eyes open bring your palms in front of your knees on top of your knees you know find our seated cat and cow stay on your block if you still seated. it let's take a deep breath in lift your chest just warming up through our spine. As you exhale, tuck your chin, draw your chest towards your mid back, lower belly drawn towards your lower back. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone under. Let's take a deep breath in, lift through your chest. Exhale, tuck your chin. Start to dome into your spine. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone under. Two more rounds. Breathing in, extend through your body. Breathing out, release your chest. Draw your tailbone under, tuck your chin. Last round, inhale. And exhale, round into your spine. Come back into neutral spine as you breathe in. 
And as you breathe out, drop your shoulders away from your ears just to find that length through your spine. Again, let's inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, I'm mirroring you. So bring your right palm towards the back, cross your left over to the outside of your knee. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, find a soft twist, but keep over your hips pointing forward. Maybe your gaze start to move towards the back. And inhale, come back to center, lift your palms up. Exhale, sweep your arms across, bring your left palm towards the back, pushing your left fingertips down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, start to find that twist. And inhale, come back to center. One more round. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, lift through your chest, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, find a soft twist, twist a little bit deeper. Begin careful not to let your chin go past your shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release it across, coming back to the other side. Lifting your chest, breathing in. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, everyone, release your fingertips behind you. So I'm going to turn around to show you what I'm doing. You either interlacing your fingers or you grabbing a hold of the opposite elbow, wherever you can reach. And the focus is to squeeze your shoulder blades together, but keep your elbows bent if your palms and your fingertips are interlaced together. And now open up through your chest. If you notice that my elbows are wing out to the side, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release your shoulders down as if someone is pressing the top of your shoulders down. Breathe. You feel that beautiful stretch through your shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, one more time. Relax through your shoulders. Inhale, release your palms. Bring them back up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your palms through to your heart. And now we're going to roll onto our knees. So either releasing your feet and sweep them out to the side. Or you can roll forward coming onto your mat. Whichever way feels more comfortable for you. I'm going to remove the block and set it on the side. And plant your palms down. And let's take a deep breath in. Let's start to push into your palm. Lift your chest forward, tilt your tailbone up towards the sky, making sure your palm is underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips, as wide as your hips and palm as wide as your shoulder. Take another breath here. Belly in, exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, start to lift your chest. Exhale, tuck your chin. The whole time you're still drawing your belly in, even though you're arching into your lower back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone down. Push the top of your feet down. Inhale, look up. Lift through your chest. Exhale, push the palm. Push into the mat. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, come into neutral spine. Exhale, you're going to bring your left palm underneath your chest in the center of your body, underneath. And inhale, reach your right arms up to the sky. Sorry, my hair is in my face. And exhale, release your right palms down. Replace your left with your right. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, your left arms up. Exhale, release your left. One more round. And inhale, right palms up. Exhale, replace your left with your right. Last round, inhale. Just warming up our body, bringing our awareness to the different part of our body. Bring your palms back as shoulder width apart underneath your shoulders. Push into the mat, tuck your toes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your hips and start to transition into your downward facing dog. Notice that my heels are touching the mat. But for most people, this is quite a challenging pose. And allow that space. Maybe your heels is here. Maybe your knees are slightly bent. But most important is you're not 
rounding into your spine. You're actually lifting your hips high and allow your shoulders to just sort of hug away, the shoulder blades hugging away and not scrunching into your ears or your neck and pushing into the mat. Maybe your heels are off and if you're able to release a little bit more without rounding into your lower back, feel free to lower your heels even more. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Let's take an inhale as you raise your heels. Let's bend through our knees. Lift your gaze. Lift your chest slightly. Look between your thumbs on your next breath out. Start to walk your toes in. And some of you may only get to this point. And at that stage, you can slide your arms back. Or if you can go further, keep walking all the way up. Have your feet as wide as your palm. Let's take an inhale straight through your knees. And bring your fingertips onto your shin. Lift your chest. Notice as there's a little dip into my lower back. Belly is still drawn in. Heart is pointing forward. Relax through your neck. So look directly below your eyes and your head. Take a deep breath in. There's no weight on my shin. We're not pushing into our legs. We're just simply letting it be our center point of focus. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward into your forward fold. Let your head hang. Let your belly come to your thighs. Let your feet be grounded and feel that earth below you. Take another breath in as you come halfway. Fingertips on your shin. Some of you may be having a little bit higher, maybe on your thighs. That's okay. But make sure you draw those hips back. Slight dip in your lower back, belly in. And exhale, release. Let's take an inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Reach your palms up towards the sky. Belly in, exhale, bring your palms through to your heart center. And because this is a 30 minutes video, I'm just going to do one round of sun salutation, just so that if you want to continue and lengthen into your practice, you can always extend this sun salutation for three to five rounds. Let's take an inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms through to your heart, hinge through your hips and fall forward. So you're going to hinge until you can't go any further, bend your knees, release your palms. Relax your neck. Halfway, inhale, fingertips on your shin. As you exhale, you're gonna plant your palms down, bend through your knees, couple of options. You can drop your knees, come into a tabletop, and then do your cat and cow. We're gonna do this for the first round. And then as you exhale, come back to neutral. Plant your toes back, move into your high plank. As an option, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna lower our knees, untuck our toes, draw your chest forward, bend your elbows, lower all the way down. Beautiful, guys. Push into the top of your feet, inhale. Lift your chest only, leave your belly on the mat, belly button still drawn in. Feel your quads and your glutes activated. Exhale, release your chest and your head. Inhale, press your hips back to child pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Again, tilt your hips up. Then lower your heels down. Maybe your knees are slightly bent to keep your hips tilted. And that's okay, especially if you're just starting out. Push into the mat firmly with your palm. Take a deep breath in. And just open your mouth and sigh out. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, raise your heels. Bend your knees. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Plant your palms. Sorry, plant your feet down. Inhale, come halfway. Straighten through your knees. Lift through your chest. Exhale, fold. Keep your feet wide so you have that stable stand rolling up. Inhale. Reach your palms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your palms through to your heart. So again, you can do that for two rounds or three or four or five, yeah? I'm going to do one round more to show you another variation. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms through to your heart. Hinge through your hips. We 
When you can't go any further, then you can bend your knees and release your palm. Inhale, find halfway. And exhale, you can have your fingertips still on the mat or on your shin. But at this point, you're going to plant your palms down. And you're going to step your feet back one at a time. And hold it in your high plank. Tuck your tailbone under, squeeze through your thighs. And you're going to push, in, push your heels back slightly as if you have an imaginary wall you're pressing into. An option here is to drop your knees or keep your knees off the mat. I'm going to transition in by dropping down into my knees first. Untuck my toes, lean forward, bend your elbows, lower all the way down. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, draw your hips back to child pose. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. How are we going? Yes, let's take another breath through your nose. And sigh out through your mouth. Let's inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Let's take a deep breath in. Find your halfway lift. Fingertips on your shin. Look, look just directly below your head, chest forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Let's inhale, come all the way up. Breathing in, reaching your palms up to the sky. Exhale, palms through to your heart. Beautiful, guys. Let's take another round of inhale and we add on as we go. Exhale, palms through to your heart, fold. Let's take a deep breath in, come halfway. And deep breath out as you plant your palm, knees bend or straight, and then step back into your plank. Again, your option is to drop your knees whenever you're ready. Hold it here for another breath in. You can hold it here with the knees on the mat, up to you. One more breath here, everyone drop your knees, lean slightly forward, exhale, bend your elbows, draw your whole body down. Beautiful guys. I'm going to shift myself back onto my mat. Sometimes you do move away from your mat. Let's take a deep breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, release your head and your chest. Inhale, bring your hips back to child pose. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. Take a breath through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. We're going to add on here and take a breath in as you turn your left foot slightly on an angle with toes moving outwards 45 degrees. And as you exhale, you're going to lift your right foot. You're going to step your foot by lifting your back heel between your palm or as far as you can go and then pick your foot up and adjust it forward yeah there's many ways that you can do this lower your back foot reach your arms up warrior one take a deep breath in and allow your shoulders to drop and relax through your toes push into your back of your foot and sink a little bit deeper belly in take another breath here and exhale release your palm lift your back heel step back into your high plank take a deep breath here Everyone, lower your knees, untuck your toes, lean slightly forward, hug your elbows towards your rib cage, lower all the way down. This is a really good way to sort of stabilize through your shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, transition to your child pose. Exhale, tuck your toes and downward facing dog. Take a breath through your nose. And sigh out through your mouth. Turn your right foot 45. Inhale as you lift your left foot. Maybe lift also onto your right heel. And release that foot by lifting your foot and slightly step it forward. And then adjust as you rise. Inhale. There's no right or wrong in yoga. And as long as you arrive at your comfortable seat that your body feels right, then you're there. Take a deep breath in. Lift your chest, belly in. And exhale, release your palm and lift your back heel. You're going to step back into your high plank. You can stay here and pause for one more inhale or knees are on the mat. Exhale, everyone now lower your knees, untuck your toes, 
Draw your chest forward, lower all the way down. And lift your chest, inhale. Release your chest, exhale. Inhale, bring your hips back. Exhale, tuck your toes. And lift your hips, downward facing dog. Come back to a variation of down dog that you feel right in. And take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Beautiful, guys. And a little bit more as you settle in. We're going to inhale, raise our heels. Exhale, everyone, lower our knees. Untuck our toes, slide our palms slightly underneath our shoulders. Let's take a deep breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, start to dome your spine. Beautiful, guys. Let's take an inhale, come back to neutral. As you exhale, sink your hips back onto your heels and slowly sit up tall. And again, if this is uncomfortable, you're going to bring your block and you're going to sit there and allow that height to release your hips and release into your lower back. Beautiful, guys. You're going to settle here and just allowing your body to soften. And now let's allow our palms to rest behind us. We're going to open up through our chest as we start to wind down. Lift your chest, push into the palm and fingers pointing forward. Just take another breath here. Really good way to stretch through your wrist. Exhale, lower your hips, peel your wrists off the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, release your palms across like we did at the start. We're starting to wind back down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your palms, cross it over. Finding that release back through our body. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, everyone release. Extend your leg forward. You can stay on the block still. I always find it really helpful. Flex through your toes. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, we're going to feel it through our hamstring as we hinge through our hips. And if this is as far as you can go, then relax your arms. Being careful not to do this. We're going to lift our chest. Take a deep breath here. And deep breath out. Belly in. If you can go a little bit deeper, feel free to fold. If you need to bend your knees so you don't feel it into your lower back, then feel free to do so. Yeah. Take another breath in and take another breath out. I'm going to start to wind down and as you inhale, rise up. And exhale, release your palms. Bend your knees. If you're sitting on the block, remove that block from the bottom. And extend your legs forward. We're going to slowly roll down. You can have your knees bent. Or you could have your feet straightened through. Slowly tuck your chin. And roll yourself all the way down. Beautiful, guys. And bring your knees in towards your chest. We're preparing for our Shavasana. We're coming to our Appanasana, yeah? This is also known as gas releasing pose. So if you're in your own home, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. So just wiggle your hips left and right. Beautiful guys. Slowly release your feet down. Extend your feet. And allow your palms to relax. Let's close down into your eyes. And relax into Shavasana. And just allow your body to feel heavy. And you can stay here for as long as you need. As we complete our practice. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.